In this video, I'm going to write a program that fulfills the requirements for Lab 3. And uh, in Lab 3, you're asked to create an array of arrays and then display some values in the array. So I'm going to start by getting some data. And if you're not sure what kind of data you want to use or what kind of arrays you want to make, um, take a look at DASL, Dazzle, and it's the data and store library at uh, Carnegie Mellon and they have lots of different little little data sets for students that have interesting real-world examples but they're pretty small and self-contained so it's actually pretty good for our purposes and I'm gonna go to list all topics and then uh, I saw one before that I thought was interesting so I'm gonna go to education and What makes a good teacher? So let's look at this one. So um, questionnaire consisting of 51 instructor behaviors was given to um, 215 undergraduate students, business students in 8991. And uh, that expanded to 735 students from nine business colleges that were randomly selected. And they were asked to rate how important they thought different behaviors were for um, instructor effectiveness. And so here's the data set, instructor behavior data file, and summary information, and then the actual data itself. So here's basically a table. This is the behavior, and then the number of students who thought that was important, the ones who thought it was neither important nor unimportant, and then the ones who thought it was not important. So at the top, the number one behavior that students think are important for student success is provide help willingly. And then at the bottom, the behavior that students least thought contributed to success were calling students by last name. They also didn't like pop quizzes a whole lot, apparently. So my idea for my program would be to take this data, put it into an array of arrays. So, um, so each of these lines is going to be an array. And then I'm going to have one big array that has each of these lines in it. And then I'm going to write a little page that basically just picks one of these at random and prints out the behavior along with st statistics about what percentage of students thought it was important, um, neither important nor unimportant, and not important. And I was thinking I could use something like this as, uh, um, as a signature kind of thing, where I could, uh, you know, every time somebody saw my page, they would get a different one of these little tips. So I thought that would be cool. So what I'm going to do, let's start by right-clicking and viewing page source. See, the data is pretty much in the same format. Um, these are actually tabs here. So if I click on a space, I just get a space. But if I click on one of these, I get a tab. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this data here up to the pre-tag. And then I'm going to go over to PHP, and I'm going to create a new page. And I'm going to call mine tips.php. And I'm going to start by pasting in all of that data that I just copied. And I want to turn this into an array of arrays. And the first thing I'm going to do is type Control R for replace. And I'm going to use something called regular expression pattern matching. Um, and that's going to let me do some cool stuff. So what I'm going to look for is basically a group of things. And it's going to be dot star. So dot means match anything, and then star means any number of those. So any number of any things, and then save that expression. So that's what the prends mean. And then up to backslash t, which is a tab character. And then I'm going to grab the next thing, which is going to be dot star backslash t. And then the next thing, dot star, backslash, close paren, backslash t, and then the last thing, dot star, 
and then that's the end of the line right there. So I'm going to replace this whole thing with square bracket for an array, and then double quote the first thing, which actually here is dollar sign one for the first thing. So you can see how it's going to work. I'm going to get provide help willingly in double quotes with a square bracket at the front. Then I'm going to do a comma. And then the second thing is going to be just the number. So that's dollar sign two without double quotes, comma. And then dollar sign three, comma, dollar sign four. And then I'm going to close off that array and put a comma at the end. And let's go ahead and put four spaces in the front. And then replace, replace, replace. So I'm just going to replace all these things. Great. So these are my inner arrays. And then I need an array on the outside. So I'm going to go create a variable called tips and set that to an array of all of these arrays. So then at the bottom, like so. So now I have an array of arrays. And what I want to do when this thing is loaded is pick one of these at random and then show the tip. I need to calculate the total number of students. So add these three values together for the total. And then calculate this as a percentage, this as a percentage, this as a percentage. And I'll just go ahead and I'll put that as a table here. So let's go ahead and close off our PHP island and make some HTML. And Leave English, call it teacher tips, and we'll come back and add some style information. And here I'm just going to use a table. So we'll go ahead and create a table. And first row, we'll have a header tip, and then What I want is students who think this is important, but I don't want to take up a lot of space. So I'm just going to say important Let's say agree. That'll work. So agree that that's important. Neutral and Disagree. That'll work. And then here, I'm going to want to put my information about the tip. So first I have to pick a tip. So I'm going to use array rand, and that's going to pick a random item from the tips array. And then I'm going to calculate the total number of students. So this is tips of 0, tips of 1, tips of 2, tips of 3. So we'll do total is equal to tip sub 1 plus tip sub 2 plus tip sub 3. And then here, I can go out and I'll add the cell. So here's my PHP island. And I'm going to echo tip sub 0. So that's my first cell. And then for agree, I'm going to output tip sub 1 over total. And I'm probably going to want to fix up this formatting a little bit. 
So let's go ahead and just round it to one decimal point and then multiply it by 100 to convert it to percent. So this will be 0% up to 100% with one decimal point. And let's go ahead and add a percent sign to that. So that's the number, the percent to agree. And here's the percent who are neutral. And here's the percent who disagree. Great. So let's go ahead and fix the style a little bit. So for the style, I'm just going to do what I've been doing. Let's go ahead and set the TD and TH styles. And I'm going to set the border to be one pixel solid black. Let's set the width to be 100%. And uh, let's set cell spacing to zero pixels. And let's text align center so that the text is centered in each cell. So let's go ahead and try this. I'm going to go to my tips.php file. So not quite there. So I have a division by zero, which means that I'm not calculating total correctly. So let's go ahead and put a breakpoint in the code and see what we have. And I still have this is live, so I should be OK. So I'm going to hit reload, get a little pop up. So here I'm at the breakpoint. Let's get rid of that. So let's look at the tip. Ah, so tip is six. Um, I didn't get the whole array. I just got uh, one value here. It's returning the index, actually. It's returning an index from 0 to 49. So what I really want to do is this. Tips square bracket array rand. So this picks a random index, and then this returns that array. And then let's go ahead and try this at reload. There. So here's the tip. Give take home exams. Agree, disagree. Agree, neutral, and disagree. And uh, let's space this out a little bit more, too. I actually put the uh, width in the wrong place. Let's put that on the table instead, or table row. So my table is going to be full width. And then let's try it now. Okay. So I'm going to right click here and inspect element. Let's see what's going on with the style. And so the table row is 100% wide, but I actually need the table to be 100% wide. So I should have put that on the table. There we go. All right, so that's 100% wide now. And I want to get rid of the spacing between these cells. So let's see what we have here. So it wasn't cell spacing. That's an unknown property name. Um, let me go ahead and try border dash spacing instead. So let's go table border spacing 0px. There we go. So that's what I wanted. And let's just run this out by putting a centered header in here. So we'll go ahead and create an H1 style. And then I'll add that to the page.
Perfect. So that's my lab three.